Hi guys, I'm Tim from the Overwatch team. And I'm Phil from the Overwatch team. And if you're seeing us, that means we have one thing we have to talk about. It's Netco. Dust off your favorite cups. All right, so uh, you guys may have already seen the post. Some of you just actually figured it out for yourselves by uh, looking at some of our in-game statistics that most of the servers on most of the games are running at high bandwidth mode. Right. Uh, so originally, when we were launching Overwatch and throughout the beta of Overwatch, our number one priority was stability. We wanted to make sure we had a successful launch. Now, we've kind of had a back pocket feature around 60 hertz where we put in competitive play specifically so that you guys can enable the high bandwidth mode, play tournament mode, and get a higher quality experience, a smoother experience. And we're happy now that we can actually roll that feature out to the rest of the community. Now. The thing to keep in mind is that not everybody has a great network connection. So part of the tech on rolling this out was we had to enable a mechanism to adaptively figure out whether or not your connection at home can actually handle the appropriate amount of packets coming in. So as part of this feature rollout, on the server we'll dynamically figure out whether or not you're syncing the packets appropriately and downgrade you or upgrade you uh, as necessary in order to make sure that you still have a quality experience no matter the quality of your connection. Yeah, the uh, deployment was important that this was not like an opt-in feature. We talked about before how the responsiveness of the server, basically the update rate at which you're gonna receive data from the server, um, is uh, adversely affects you if the, the people shooting at you aren't getting at high update rate. So we wanna make sure that everyone gets this high update rate. That's why when we enabled it, we enabled it for everybody. And if your specific bandwidth requirements don't quite meet what the game requires, it'll automatically duck you down and kind of bring you back to the level of update rate that we had before we introduced the high bandwidth mode. Uh, I wanna talk a bit about what the gameplay ramifications are. These kind of recap what we talked about in the previous netcode video. That's why we have our three Farahs here. So remember in the middle here is the authoritative Farah. This is the Farah that is on the server that has received information about inputs from, uh, what, sorry, this guy over here, hi, from the, uh, the client controlling that particular Farah. Uh, this Farah over here would be the Farah that remote users would see. This would be the target Farah if you're shooting at her. Um, in all the cases, we talked about how your latency um, and the latency of the, of the person in question will, will bring in the kind of the temporal and spatial distances back to the authoritative snapshot from the server. Um, when it comes to a high update rate, there's a couple things that that affects. So for the client that is um, controlling Farah, they uh, are gonna have their data sent to the server and the response arrive quicker back from the server, which is gonna bring them closer in time to, uh, to what the authoritative server snapshot is. For people shooting at Farah, for target Farah, it's actually double that. Not only do you get the processing time or the, the uh, update rate time increase bringing you closer to kind of the reality, but on top of that, we are able to in, uh, decrease the interpolation delay. Uh, the first folks that actually found out about the high bandwidth stuff over the last couple days um, noticed specifically uh, up in the, uh, the stats indicator in the upper left-hand corner, there's a magical stat called IND that stands for interpolation delay. Usually it hovers around 54 to 55 if you have a nice clean, uh, uh, clean throughput of data. It's dropped now to 20 because of that reduction. So we're basically bringing in both of these things. The net result of that is you will be shot around corners less you'll be able to predict escape moves better and the server will hear about it sooner. So if you if you got that blink off, the server's gonna process that quicker, make you less likely to get hit by hooks. Remember, all of our stuff is still predictive, or the majority of the abilities you use are still predictive. So even though this is bringing you more closely in line with kind of the temporal authority of the server, there still will be cases where you'll mispredict. If you have a really high latency, for example, or even if you have a low latency and you know someone actually reacts within like a 20 millisecond window, that prediction will, will fail. But it should, in general, feel better, and hopefully you guys have felt that. Absolutely. So uh, again, ultimately the thing that you need to keep in mind is that uh, if your connection is not actually keeping up, don't worry about it. We'll actually downgrade you appropriately. You'll see the interpolation delay increase. Everything's gonna work out perfectly fine on that front. Um, some other notes. Uh, this feature is live now in quite a bit of the globe for PC. Uh, we're still investigating how we can roll this out on console, and there's a couple of regions where we're still rolling this out. So stay tuned and uh, let us know what you guys think. Yeah, please provide as much feedback as you can. We are still iterating on this. We want to make this the best net code we can possibly make it, and we're going to do so with your help. Thank you guys so much. Thank you.